So it almost makes me feel ashamed that I'm even worried. You know, she's going to have to say goodbye to her husband. Mm -hmm. And she won't see him again this side of heaven. Yeah. And so I think it puts things into perspective. A day of reckoning is finally upon Julie Chrisley and her husband Todd as they settle into their new life inside a prison. Now that the reality of spending the rest of her life in prison away from her husband has hit Julie, she is left shattered and panicked and alone, with nobody left by her side. What actions of hers led to this moment? Is there a chance they reunite? Stay with us as we give you all the details of this case and its emotional impact on Julie. Todd and Julie Chrisley reported to their respective prisons a few days ago, starting a 12-year prison sentence while she is set to serve seven years. Julie, 50, spoke out about challenges in regards to their relationship they will face as he serves his sentence, as well as gaining perspective on the whole situation. In an interview with Emmy Metters, her son Chase Chrisley's fiancé, Julie said, I think it puts things into perspective for me because we all think our heart is the hardest thing. You're entitled to feel how you feel during the podcast Chrisley Confessions. Julie said she is taking her friend's advice that tears you shed or sowing the seeds for your future. It has been such a source of strength for me because I have not typically been a crier and this whole experience has truly taken me to my knees, she added. Julie also put her situation in perspective with that of Emmy's parents. Emmy's father has amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and her mother cares for him, so the guilt of leaving the sick dad alone adds to the guilt. But her greatest worry remains being away from her husband. Just look at the two projecting strength as a couple before things took a terrible turn for them. I made that commitment that no matter how tough things were, I was not going to walk away. And, you know, is our marriage perfect? No, it's not. But I do think we have this mutual respect and we both agree that we're not throwing in the towel, no matter how tough things get. And, you know, from a blended family to having our own kids to just all the drama that comes along with life, it's easy to do. Julie said, there is that possibility of my husband and I being separated. But there's a difference between my husband and I being separated for a period of time and having to say goodbye forever, referring to Emmy's dad and his diagnosis and prognosis. Adding, it almost makes me feel ashamed that I'm even worried. Unless the good Lord intervenes, going to have to say goodbye to her husband and she won't see him again this side of heaven. Emmy said that what her and Todd are going through changes the way you see life. This is the first time the husband and wife will have to spend an extended period of time away from each other, so Julie has all the reason to be anxious. Even before they went in, the Chrisley Knows Best stars Todd and Julie were plagued with nervous emotions, a family member told media outlets. Todd and Julie are extremely emotional and nervous right now because they do not know what their fate is going to be. The insider began. The entire family is on edge and they are praying that, since Nanny Faye is suffering from bladder cancer and they have Chloe and Grayson to take care of, their sentence will not be harsh. As Thanksgiving and other holidays approached, the family insider revealed they were hoping to get through the difficult time as a family unit. With the holidays approaching, this could either be a wonderful holiday season like always have, or it could be one of the most difficult holidays that they've ever had. They said, this whole experience has united them and they have all been leaning on each other for emotional support. Their family bond is tight and the family has faith that it will all work out. The thought of Todd and Julie going to prison just really terrifies all of them. But this was not meant to be, as in a few months, they were both sentenced to prison and only a few days ago had to take the painful journey to report in, as can be seen here. Julie and Todd are parents to three children including Savannah, 25, Grayson, 16, and Chase, 26. The 53-year-old also has two older children from a previous marriage, which includes Lindsay, 33, and Kyle, 31. Notably, Kyle has a daughter, Chloe, 10, which Todd and his wife have custody of. Since the 31-year-old has parental rights, now that Chloe's grandparents are sentenced to prison, she will be in her father's care. The family has been torn apart, and this video sums it up perfectly. There's a video. And if you want us to cut it out after I play this, we'll cut it out. Okay. Because this just goes to us. But okay. if not, then people can see it as part of our stuff on YouTube. Okay. But this is a video that I go back so often and watch when I feel like I'm losing hope. Because it gives me so much. Every 
Their challenges only begin from here. Not only will Julie feel the extreme emotional distress of being away from her husband, but they will both have to go through some big physical difficulties in their new life at prison as well. Todd's upcoming life behind bars is a far cry from the high-flying multi-million dollar lifestyle that landed him there in the first place. He has began his 12-year sentence at FPC Pensacola, a minimum security prison in Florida long known for being one of the cushiest prisons in the country. But despite its reputation, the disgrace Chris Lee knows best star will still be forced to live within a strict schedule that will see him waking at 4.45 a.m. daily, making his bed with military precision, and working a prison job all morning and into the afternoon. At FPC, Chris Lee will be required to wear a uniform of white socks, black steel-toed boots, and matching green pants and shirt, according to documents obtained by TMZ. Z. After lights flip on at the crack of dawn, breakfast is served between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. Chris Lee will then have until 6.30 a.m. to make his bed and ensure that his cell is spotless. From there, his work detail, which could consist of library work, landscaping work, or prison housekeeping work, will begin and carry through as late as 5 p.m. Inmates are served lunch at 11 a.m., dinner for an hour at 4.30 p.m., and then it's mail distribution before inmates are sent back to their cells and lights go down at 10.30 p.m. No wonder Julie was so nervous and scared of this. But why did it come down to this in the first place? Only a few months ago, Todd and Julie were sentenced to 12 years and 7 years in prison respectively, months after they were found guilty in their $30 million tax fraud case. The couple were sentenced in Atlanta to a combined total of 19 years in jail. They will also serve 16 months of probation each upon their release. It's understood that their reality show, as well as a spin-off plan to center around their children, has now been cancelled. This news came five months after the Chrisleys were found guilty on criminal bank fraud and tax evasion charges, as prosecutors said they took out $30 million in fraudulent bank loans. Prosecutors said the couple used the money to fund their lifestyle, even before they had become reality stars. Todd and Julia also used a production company to hide income from the IRS, lawyers argued. During the dramatic trial earlier in 2022, a shocking testimony given by Chrisley's former employee turned lover Mark Braddock revealed that he had a year-long gay affair with the reality star in the early 2000s while they were both married to their respective wives. Braddock sensationally turned against his ex-lover and business partner on the stand when he told the jury that he had not only been witness to the Chrisley's crimes, but it helped to commit them. His testimony also saw him confessing not only to his role in the Chrisley's years-long fraud, but to his infidelity, which he is said to have kept hidden from his wife for years before revealing it all to the world on the stand. Braddock was granted immunity in return for testifying. They had also both been charged with conspiracy to commit bank fraud, conspiracy to defraud the United States. Julie was also charged with wire fraud and obstruction of justice. Throughout their legal troubles, the Chrisleys maintained they had done nothing wrong. They claimed that someone else had been in charge of their finances and therefore responsible for any and all crimes committed. Todd and Julie's accountant, Peter Tarantino, was also sentenced Monday to 36 months in prison. He was facing up to 41, while his attorneys had asked for just 18. Tarantino had also been found guilty of conspiracy to defraud the IRS and willfully filing false tax returns. The Chrisleys submitted a false document to a grand jury investigating their crimes and then convinced friends and family members to tell lies while testifying under oath during their trial. Prosecutors wrote earlier that year during their trial. The Chrisleys are unique given the varied and wide-ranging scope of their fraudulent conduct and the extent to which they engaged in fraud and obstructive behavior for a prolonged period of time. Prosecutors wrote, Braddock, who revealed the couple's fraud in court earlier that year, had a good reason to do so. In 2012, Braddock said Chrisley threw him out of his office and called the police, which caused Braddock to feel vengeful, and he eventually tipped off the FBI about Chrisley and his wife's criminal activity. That's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching until the end, and don't forget to subscribe and like. Goodbye.